Hey there, Cancer, and thank you so much for joining me here for your uh, new moon to full moon reading from the 13th to the 28th. I'm really excited that you're joining me here for this reading. Um, it's definitely different from what I've been doing, so it's a lot shorter, more precise, more targeted. Um, I've been doing some really big epic readings, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. The full moon readings were really big and epic, so this one's definitely going to be much um, smaller, shorter, and like I said, more precise and targeted. What we're going to do is work with three different oracle decks, um, the Moonology, Sacred Geometry, and Archetype Oracle. And um, with this archetype, this is the Kim Kranz Archetypes Oracle deck, and I just have the selves here. So there's the selves, the places, the tools, and the initiations. And I was just told to pick out the um, the selves. And what this means is the part of the self that we really need to think about at this time um, that's coming out for us right now. And then we have the archangel portion or the arcana, the major arcana portion of the angel tarot. So just using the major arcana cards here for this reading. And first, we're getting started with our Moonology card. So it is a new moon reading. So first, we're going to start with our Moonology cards. I really like these cards. Um, all of these decks, ex except for this Angel Tarot deck, I are pretty new to me. This I've had maybe a month. This I've had just like a week and a half or something like that. And, and these I've had just a few days. But I'm really excited to use them in these readings for this time period between new moon and full moon, the 13th through the 28th. Um, I'm kind of halfway through these readings and I'm really liking this spread. I hope you do too. And if you don't know me, my name is Infinity. I'm a medical medium, psychic, physical empath, natural born energy healer, shaman, mystic, uh, reader, channeler, astral meditation guide, writer, artist. I do all this stuff. But um, I have a website, thehealingbutterfly.org. I really encourage you to check it out. I offer a lot of different services, private reads, energy healing for you, your children, your pets. I work worldwide. I have um, ebooks and meditations on there as well. So check it out, thehealingbutterfly.org, and reach out if I can help you. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it and see what we get here. Cancer for your reading for new moon through full moon. And these are coming out, I'm doing these on the afternoon and evening of the new moon. This is when I was guided to do it, to wait until this day with these energies coming in um, and not a, a day sooner. So it's um, kind of a thing here, needing to um, complete the Stargate, whoa. Needing to, um, that one flew, we'll take that. Needing to complete the, uh, the Stargate. Time from the third to the 13th, needing to be fully in our new moon energies to get these messages. First card out is actually, I think the card that we just had for this, oh no, the, it was two readings ago. Your hard work is paying off. So Cancer, that's where we're starting here. Your hard work is paying off. Let me see. I'm hearing really trying to be positive, change your lifestyle, change your focus, change your vibration, all this stuff. You've been you've been guided towards spirituality and learning about stuff recently. Um, and you're seeing that you're actually feeling a difference. I'm seeing here that you're like, huh. If I do this, this is what happens. If I do that, this is what happens, like that sort of thing. And here's our card for sacred geometry. So that's always really cool. Um, that you're, that when a person starts shifting energy, that they see a definite shift in reality. 
So let's see what do we have here. Ancient sound frequencies, rebalance energy, frequency, and vibration. Card number one of my sacred geometry deck. I'll give you a nice close look at that. So let's get right into it. Yep, this is it. Want some light here. Okay, Cancer, let's get into it. Rebalance energy, frequency, vibration. Today I, I allow myself to nurture my mind, body, and spirit to bring me back to a state of balance and harmony. If you have drawn the ancient sound frequency card, you are in need of an overhaul. Your body may be tired and out of balance, or you may be feeling emotionally or mentally drained. You have been working hard in so many aspects of your life that you need to return to a state of balance and harmony on all levels. You may need a healing to deal with, cur with a current issue in your life that could have an attachment to a past life. Whether it be gaining an understanding or a need to forgive and release, it can be done by cutting cords and ties and letting go under the guidance of a light worker. I'll get back to that here in a minute. Sacred geometry. Our world and universe from the microcosm to the macrocosm is an electromagnetic field which creates vibrations, which in turn creates sound and color. Every sound has a different vibration, as does every person, crystal, tree, blade of grass, and so on. Sound vibration carries medicinal tones and can penetrate not only our, our auric field, but also that of our physical matrix right down to the cellular core. When we are in resonance, we are in balance, and by using and surrounding ourselves with certain frequencies or tones within our own field, as well as our surroundings, we can change our vibratory frequencies to live more harmoniously. The Solfuego frequencies are a group of pure musical resonance frequencies developed by Benedictine monk Guido di Ezenzo, circa 1980. And and main being a six tone scale of electromagnetic frequencies that were believed to have been lost throughout history. These tones were replaced by different um, tuning applications over time. They are considered sacred tones used in well-known Gregorian chants and in the hymn, uh, and in the hymn to St. John the Baptist. Each one of these tones, when sung in harmony, can bring about spiritual blessing, harmony, healing, and miracles. Practical application. Healing and rebalancing from a cellular level through the auric field or outer layers of the physical body can be achieved by placing this card on your body while in meditation, listening to the sounds of the Solfuego um, frequencies, and even placing crystals with the card on your body or carrying them around you. Sleep with the card under your pillow. Seek out a light worker to help you shift unwanted energies. Writing is also a fantastic practice. When I need to release, I write down my thoughts and feelings and call upon universal guidance to create the shift needed to put me back on my path. Burning what you have written and full moon enhances the effect of your desired outcomes and goals. And the card numerology is nine. Um, crystal suggestions, aphrodite, singing cords, herkimer diamond, and boji stones. The animal medicine is um, eagle. And the essences would be 528 hertz essence, snake medicine essence, and starlight essence. So, um... So what was mentioned here was um, cutting cords, um, whether it be gaining understanding or a need to forgive and release, it can be done by cutting cords and ties and letting go under the guidance of a light worker. So just so happens that I have a an ebook that I have on my website. It is free. It's called The Importance of Cord Cutting. It explains a lot about energy, frequency, attachments energetically, and how to release and cut those cords, bring that energy essentially back into the body for your own life force to raise. 
So I have that ebook and I have um, two meditation or two podcasts. One is a little mini uh, explanation, little mini meditation there at the end. And the other one is, um, it's actually updated. Episode 104 is the cord cutting meditation. Definitely, um, definitely something to consider looking into and getting into is that aside from just whatever other energy work you can do because really feeling here that you know did talk about you know hard work is paying off but working really hard and I'm also seeing like I could be talking to um, somebody that works works hard to heal other people whether that is um, in the traditional medical Western medical sense or um, you're a light worker who is has been giving a lot of energy out and maybe not maintaining your own energy if you're somebody that works in traditional um, um, nursing or uh, or the medical industry or hospice or something like that you've been doing a lot of output and not regulating not doing healing work not doing energy work for yourself and that is definitely a need this is saying you know it's not just you just need balance we need to balance out we need to we need to scrub out and scrape out the energies that are you know um, that are old and stagnant that have been leveling and la and layering up on itself um, within the body. Okay, let's see what we get here with the self cards of the of the archetypal cards um, here with this archetype oracle that will give us some more insight. Cancer. Also feeling also with it with um, you being a water sign, Cancer. Please, 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 please consider drinking the best water you can, as much water as possible going into water, meditating in water, um, that's coming up again, it came up for Pisces, but it's just kind of popping up here again, um, that blue with the eye really catching my, my attention there, representing water, or just, you know, also going out into nature, going up into the mountains I'm hearing would be a really good idea as well, um, solitude, time alone is, taking a couple days off, looking at your calendar coming up here in this time period. Where can you move stuff around and maybe take a long weekend or a couple days off or something here to recharge? Recharging is definitely a need. And whoa, <laughs> same card that just came out for Gemini is the Mystic. Interesting. That's kind of what I'm feeling here is like overworked light worker, overworked, like you're doing a lot of your own work, you're doing a lot of work with other people, you're putting out a lot of energy, and you've just been like, oh, yeah, 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 like, but it's just getting, it's just, it needs to balance out. So the mystic, same card that came out, that just came out. For Gemini is coming out here for Cancer. Very interesting. So the mystic, the seeker, the light worker, the dreamer. The mystic is often misunderstood in our culture, depicted as a wandering or light-hearted daydreamer. Yet, like Shiva, the true mystic plays a critical role in society, remaining fearlessly dedicated to the path of transformation. In order to save the earth from darkness, Shiva swallows the poison of the world and holds it in his throat, solely transmuting the liquid into nectar. This is the work of the mystic. They do not fear darkness, but rather sit in the presence of it, harness the potential and latent energy behind it, and embed it with light. They are patient and prudent change makers, seeking growth above all else. Unanswerable questions are the mystic's lifeblood. The mystic reveal, revels in mystery and it, and the great riddle of life, dancing with the forces of light and dark upon its wings. When light, remover of darkness, visionary, ageless. When dark, asks, expects results, seeks attention and recognition. Go deeper with Zen Cohn's poetry and Murakami novels. And like any light worker, the mystic must build a relationship with fire. This begins by awakening the inner flame. And 
It may seem that the mystic is inward facing, yet its light beams back to the world with the strength of a thousand stars. So, okay, so fire standing out here. I know I talked about water, but light and fire. So working with with fire, lighting candles. All my almost all my candles have went out. I need to relight candles here. Um, so lighting candles, working with flame, meditating on the elements. Um, and yeah, I feel like I'm definitely talking to people who are real, either you're a practicing light worker, healer, seer, of some, you know, mystic of literally, uh, or um, you're just getting into that and you're kind of maybe out of balance because you're you may even have having a hard time sleeping because there's just so much coming in that you're just like revved up or you've been on this revved up kind of mode and maybe especially through the um through the the stargate between 3 3 and 3 13 um so that could be it's a very intense time each time we have a stargate and if you want to know more about stargates that is one of the my recent videos too so you can check out that about stargates look into that so you can understand maybe more about the energies that have gone on in these last 10 days um yeah really needing to understand more of the cosmic energies that influence you is what I'm hearing and kind of putting things together is is what needs to happen right now like there's a lot of pieces that have gotten your attention is kind of part of it too but mostly I'm seeing this as just needing to be recalibrated rebalanced um, spending time alone uh, connecting with your guides in a different way um, Yeah, definitely seeing fire here. So if you can build a little fire and sit around it, have it be a little bigger, that would be great. Of course, safe, be very safe with fire. Or just light a, bun light a bunch of tea lights and put them all together. Just like, really get into fire energy while you're drinking a lot of water. This will help, and especially while you're telling yourself you're intentionally wanting to calibrate your energy to transmute negativity to release what you've taken on like one thing that really stood out for me here is when she talks about shiva and how shiva took in the poison and transmuted it into nectar and that's really what we do as light workers as mystics as shaman we take as healers as seers we pull in a lot of times negativity and that's also why we need to cut cords and do energy work and releasing because we can tend to hold on to it and it can be a real detriment to us um, as far as you know energetically physically what it can turn into what it what it can get in get it in the way of and all that good stuff and our yeah shocking here <laughs> our uh, card for um, our archangels is with Jeremy L and that is renewal renew and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts time to move in a new direction so this also represents um, uh, the tower I believe now I'm kind of spacing I always do this um, because they call things different oh no life experience is the tower renewal is see this is why I write this stuff down because I forget <laughs> the placement oh and of course you're not telling me that that's annoying um, why aren't I why isn't it coming to me oh my gosh this is embarrassing and all of my books are where they're gonna help me oh here finally goodness gracious I feel like a dum-dum here but it's just not coming to me. The more I'm trying to dig for it, the more I can't. Judgment. There we go. Okay, judgment. Judgment is the renewal card. Sorry about that. Judgment is our renewal card. I always get renewal, life experience, and ego. So there's death, the devil, the tower, 
Judgment that they rename in Angel's Harrow, and I get confused, and I'm not good at memorizing the numbers. Um, so judgment is also about balance. And renew and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts, time to move in a new direction. So this is definitely talking about um, kind of where we've been and where we're going here with this. So let me show you this one more time. So there's Jeremiel like in the ocean and this family um, uh, coming to that, to that spot and getting this. You know they're together it's it's like this you know path into the new and that's really what I'm getting here with this it's like with this sacred geometry card it talks about um, rebalancing energy so renewal rebalance the real need to, to clear out some energy here um, is really what this is speaking to and take some time to yourself um, go, you know, separate yourself, um, if you can from the people in your life, or again, take some time off, do some writing, some automatic writing, working with fire energy to really like focus, help you focus this sort of thing to let things kind of come in and steer you in the right direction. Last but not least, again, cord cutting, any type of self-healing meditations that you can find on my channel or my website. Um, my ebooks will also help you kind of sort stuff out. Um, and And I'm just seeing this as being a, a time for you to kind of clear stuff out and you're going to get a lot, like as this time period moves on closer to full moon, your perspective, your illumination, the light coming in is really going to get to a certain point. Like it's going to be like, oh, like you're going to just start seeing stuff more and more clearly. Um, really going to set you up for the future and where you're going, especially in April and what you're going to be focusing on. But you really need to work in this time period to clear out old energy. Like I'm hearing, like I'm seeing, like flush the toilet, clean out the pipes, take spring cleaning, like even in your home, like clear out energy in your home, throw away stuff, clean stuff, move stuff out, like away from the walls and move furniture, rearrange stuff. Like there needs to be this like renewed energy happening. If there's been any type of separation, people leaving, or maybe people were staying with you and they left and you're just like, oh my God, I, they're gone. <laughs> like I can be by myself and you're just like exhausted. Take a little bit of time to, to ramp up your, your energies, but you really should go through do some smudging um, and cleaning and um, with yourself to a nice long bath. Hot bath would be perfect for you. Okay, thank you so much, Cancer, for being here. I hope that these messages resonate with you, and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.